Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here with another video today. Today I will be making some baked chicken, mashed potatoes, and some pan seared broccoli. So originally I wanted to make oven fried chicken, but as you can see, I have the chicken that does not have any skin and that's the best way to do it when you oven fried chicken so I'm just gonna make some nice juicy baked chicken today as you can see I preheated my oven to 350 and I have my water already boiling so now I can throw my mashed potatoes in So here I go, put in the mashed potatoes in now. Gotta do it easy, cause that water splashing. This is, this is the most part I hate about making mashed potatoes when it's time to actually pour it in the hot water. And I did already go in with salt, if you want to know. And over here, that's some extra fat that I took off the chicken. So now, I'm gonna go in to season the chicken. So, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of adobo because I don't have my all-purpose um, Maggie seasoning that I like to use. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of this. And like I said in my last video, you know, black people, we don't do measurements. We just like that, you know? So I'm going in with a little adobo. I'm just showing you guys what I use. You guys could use what you wanna use. Now I'm going in with some black pepper. A little complete seasoning. A little garlic powder. Love garlic powder. Of course, some paprika. I need to incorporate in some smoked paprika. I hear people say that it gives the food a nice little smoky taste. Some paprika so it could give it a nice color. And of course, a little bit of Italian seasoning because you know, Ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of herbs, right? And last but not least, I'm gonna go in with a little sea salt because remember that we um, go in with a little sea salt now. Now, it may look like I seasoned this kind of heavy, but I'm going to tell you this is two packs of the family size of chicken leg and thighs. So, and, and some of them are kind of not huge, but I want to say they're a good size. So, I want to make sure um, everything gets flavor on it. I also want to go in and add a little bit of coconut oil and then I'm gonna mix it all up because I want it to have some nice flavor and you know of course when you cook with coconut oil it always gives a nice flavor husband loved the rice that I made the other day with the coconut oil in there I did forget to say that I also did put butter in I mean salt in there I definitely did forget to say that, but I'm telling you that now. So now I'm going to get my wooden spoon. 
and try to mix everything in as best as I can. I don't have my, my big, big bowl, so I'm gonna just use what I have. Still mixing you know I don't know how you guys you women with children and you vloggers how you guys do it you know with all these kids please give me some tips because I'm just trying to get into this and I find it very hard you know with the kids making all the noise in the background I have my my eight month you know baby and he's teething he's been very moody and then I have my son that's gonna be three that just want to do what he want to do and he's upset that he can't be out here right now and i don't want him out here right now you know and he's crying i don't know if you hear him in the background he's upset but i need to get this done and what i'm cooking they they're always in my way and i don't want them in my way right now i don't so he has to stay inside his room sorry for the screaming you guys so now that that's seasoned up and mixed up, I feel like it has a pretty good flavor to it. We don't want nothing too salty. So now, I'm gonna get my pan. Oh, you put that in the oven? Yes. Okay. You can see the potatoes over there boiling up. So right now, I am going to be trying to place my leg and thighs in my pan. Hopefully they all fit because you know when you got a big family you got to cook big meals. Especially if you don't like cooking every day. I have my days I cook every day. I have my days when I don't so this I'm trying to make at least last me until tomorrow because feeding all these mouths over here is just crazy. If you know what I mean, if you have a big family. So I'm just placing them in there. One more piece. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to squeeze it. I think I am. I think I am. Okay. Like a puzzle fit right up in there. And I'm gonna drizzle this juice from the chicken, from the seasoning, all over it. Cover it up. Pop it in the oven for let's say an hour and a half and check back on it. Put on my oven light. And we'll check back on that later. So I have my broccoli. And um I'm gonna check to see if the mashed potatoes is 
Nope, they're not. Okay, so we're gonna leave that to boil up some more. And then we'll be right back to check on the mashed potatoes to see if it was boiled and then start pan frying my broccoli. All right, you guys, so the mashed potatoes are done. And right now I'm going to drain off the water. Okay, back to the stove now. It's hot. So now, I usually make my um, mashed potatoes with just um, butter and, and a little milk. But I'm going to try something different today because I like to watch cooking videos. And lately, I've been seeing people putting the sour cream in their mashed potatoes and I love sour cream so I'm all for it definitely definitely gonna try that so I'm not, I'm not gonna go in with too much excuse my, my children in the background like I said you guys I don't know how you guys do it when you vlog in and your children are home with this covert going on when I tell y'all, I got, I got a lot to talk about with y'all. I have a lot to talk about. Because it is not easy for me. So I'm going to go in. This is like an extra. This is a, this is a tablespoon. I'm going to go in with that. Uh, I think I'm going to go in with one more. Right. So now we have that there. Then I'm gonna go in with some butter. Now, I use a lot of butter in my mashed potatoes. Forgive me, y'all, if y'all feel like that's too much. But I like my mashed potatoes buttery and garlicky, yes. Because that is just the wave. Now I'm gonna add some more salt because we want this to have flavor. I don't have to go in with too much because I already went in with some in the water while it was boiling so now we're gonna add some garlic powder and that should be enough because i just like that light light garlic taste i don't need it too too extravagant and then i go in with some parsley to give it that pretty pretty look that I love to see mashed potatoes have. And now, it's time for the exercise. I know I'm supposed to have a masher. I had one, I don't know what happened to it. So when I tell y'all this be some real work, this be some real work. So right now I'm just mashing it. Get in there, get in the pot. I'm mashing it, breaking it up, cause you know, it's boiled into chunks. And then, And then as I mash like this, you see the mashed potatoes forming. 
and then I start mixing and eventually the rest of it starts to break up. I think I need some more butter or cream cheese or I'm not, it's not cream cheese, it's sour cream, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's easy to confuse the two being that they're white. But yeah, I'm gonna go in with some more sour cream and a little bit more butter and a dash of milk. Whispering, Nyla. That's always finished. No, it's not. Mm. Why you? You know what? I'm just not saying nothing mean right now because I'm recording. Like I said, you guys, being home with these kids really makes everything they say and do annoying. So forgive me. That's for my little calling. frustration. Forgive me for my little frustration. If you can hear it in my voice. A little bit of milk. And now we're going to go in and mix that up. Is that auntie? Get in there. So you see you guys. How nice and creamy that looks. That looks good. Now, it still got some chunks. I still got some more work to do. <laughs> My arm is tired. Part of my broccoli. I'm gonna go in. That's kind of a lot of broccoli, so I'm gonna go in with this amount of butter. Let that melt down. So it can have a nice flavor. Usually, what I do is I like to chop up an onion and put it in here so that it can steam down. I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to throw in a little bit of coffee seasoning on the bottom. And then I'm going to go in and put it on the top. background they're here fixing something in my apartment today so I'm going in with some more complete seasoning and then I'm gonna give it a little toast Like that steam and also I'm gonna go in and add a little bit of water to help the steaming process just that much excuse 
the noise that's my my son. That's the um eight month baby. He's teething, doesn't like to be in his crib, and that's what he is right now. So that's why he's screaming. I'm gonna take a look at these chickens, see what it's looking like. It's really hot, so you gotta be careful. Okay, so it's making a nice juicy gravy. I'm gonna let it cover it some more, let it cook, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna take the full paper off so that it can get give it a nice brown color at the top. And my mashed potatoes, this is how it's looking. You guys, I taste it. It tastes really, really good. If you haven't tried putting um, if you haven't tried putting sour cream in your mashed potatoes, please do try. So we're gonna let that steam up, and then I'll be back with the plating. So you guys, the chicken is finished, and. The broccoli is steamed. Excuse my two bottles of wine over there. And I have plated. And that is how much mashed potatoes I'm going to eat. Because I'm trying to monitor my carbs. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell.